Hello and welcome to this tutorial on scatter charts with me, James from Matador Software. More specifically, we'll be looking at advanced features such as the analytics pane, clustering our graph and some other lesser known features. We'll look to end up with a result similar to this, but I'm going to also show you some other features such as symmetry shading, ratio and percentile lines. Without further ado, let's get started. We need to think carefully about the data we want to present within a scatter chart. So let me show you the data set I'm using. It's a World Happiness Report and ranks countries by their happiness based on a selection of categories. As I'll show you, I got this data set from Kaggle.com and easily downloaded and imported it to Power BI as a CSV file. If you haven't checked out Kaggle for practice data sets, it's great. It has over 50,000 public data sets to easily download. So let's select the standard scatter chart visual. Now within a scatter chart, we want to compare two values and investigate possible correlation. So let's say that we want to investigate a relationship between healthy life expectancy and GDP per capita. We could place these on each axis to do so. Now within each data point, we want to see the data by country. We can add the country or region field to the details visual well We'll also add the score to the tooltip. Now we can hover over the visual and check how each field affects the other. I'll speed the video up slightly as we format the standard scatter chart visual and keep it consistent with our color theme. There's a really interesting feature that is somewhat hidden. If we right click anywhere in the visual, we can click summarize and this intelligently presents us the key metrics of our current scatter chart in a text box format. We see the highest points on each axis are reported back to us. As we add more analytics features to our scatter chart, we can reflect more details by also using the summarize feature later on. next scatter chart feature that I want to cover is clustering. If we click the ellipsis or three dots at the top of our visual, we can click automatically find clusters. We choose the number of clusters that we want to detect or we can let Power BI automatically do this for us. So what is scatter chart clustering? When you select how many clusters you want to apply, Power BI uses an algorithm that lets you quickly find groups of similar data. Within the visual well, this does apply a legend so we can turn the legend off within our visual formatting. So if we click on the magnifying glass within the visualizations, we get access to the analytics pane. Please note that the features here are not available to most standard visualizations. 
One of the most valuable features that we can add is a trend line. Now this is modeled after a linear regression line of best fit, but all we need to know is that the trend line is drawn through a scatter chart to find the direction of an association between the variables. I'm going to speed through most of the other options, but it is important to note that the X and Y constant lines allow us to apply a vertical or horizontal line based on a value of our choosing. So if we wanted to look at features after a certain healthy life expectancy, we could list that score and investigate that. The average and median lines are self-explanatory and the percentile lines allow us to display a line for our top or bottom percentage of data points and we can further analyze and specify this ourselves. However, we're going to explore symmetry shading and ratio lines in more depth. Symmetry shading is an analytics feature that allows you to easily see which points have a higher value of the x-axis measure compared to the y-axis measure. As you can see, it provides options for strong and clear formatting to make quick data-driven decisions. As we said earlier, it's worth noting now, if we right click and use our summarize feature, we'll be presented with more intelligent data to help us analyze our scatter chart. This is due to the extra analytics features that we've added throughout this tutorial. The ratio line feature plots the ratio of the subtotals of x-axis and y-axis measures to let you see overall which measure has a higher value. Personally, I prefer a bit more design simplicity as I think it provides a bit more clarity. However, I could insert shapes here to show some areas I would probably be looking to analyze and investigate further. This is too convoluted to allow end users to make decisions clearly and quickly, but it's good to know the individual features we have available. So, I'll revert back to clusters and trend lines. This paints a clear and attractive picture that allows our report consumers to follow our data story. That's been some advanced and exciting analytics features within Power BI scatter charts. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share.